Hello again, YouTube, and welcome back to the video series tutorial on uh, RPG from scratch. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and fill you guys in as far as what I've been doing and uh, kind of where we're going from here and how we're going to get there. Let's see. Um, basically, I left you guys. Um, we created this source image right here. And uh, from this source image, as you can see, I just did this on my own time to not bore you guys with the details. But um, you can see that from just this source source image here, we can create a vast uh, a vast uh, world, basically a world map for our RPG. And uh, what we did is uh, I, I can show the grid here if you guys are just coming on. You can see that the, each one of these is one, two, three, four, five. This ten tiles can make up this uh, this continent right here and it's jagged and it blends well together and we've gone through all that so I'm not going to go too too much in detail on all that stuff because that's pretty much stuff you've already, already seen before but uh, I just wanted to give you guys an, an idea of uh, of uh, um, the power the power of this um, of this uh, software here the GIMP and the the power of uh, uh, the the tiling system um, the tiling system in general I'm sorry um, but at any rate I wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of where we're going from here and uh, the the next logical step to do is to try to get some of these images and in, to code and I, I said before that we're going to implement this um, using uh, Microsoft Visual Studio and what we'll do is we'll load this up here this is Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 um, it, it's the student edition for me um, I downloaded it because obviously I'm a student, but you guys can get the light version for free, I believe, and along with X and A, you just um, type it into Google, and uh, and uh, it'll come up. But at any rate, um, my my version is uh, Microsoft X and A Game Studio 4.0 Refresh is what I'm using. It's it was the newest at the time. I downloaded it from uh, the Microsoft's Academic Alliance website and. Uh, I was able to get all, all this great software for free, basically. But uh, this is going to be our development environment here, and uh, this I've already uh, created a new project. It's called RPG Concept One, and uh, this is where we're going to make the magic happen. Hopefully, if if I can get past the whole object-oriented thing, but that's that's a different tutorial altogether. But um, since the last time you guys are, or the since the last time I've made a video. I've actually been working on how exactly I'm going to incorporate the XNA framework with Windows Forms in order to um, enable us to have a graphical user interface to go ahead and create a game world um, um, similar to that of GIMP. Um, basically, we, we want a program to make it so that we can take these source tiles here and, and display them on a larger larger map graphically and we'll do things as collision we'll do such things as collision detection graphically this will make it a whole lot easier than having to manually code the multi-dimensional array we're going to be using for this stuff um, but at any rate I told you guys I was um, reading a good book on on the topic this is the Microsoft website by the way uh, it's real simple Microsoft.com and, and you can actually even try Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 for free um, it, it's a free trial obviously so you guys can actually download this if, if you're looking for it but that's besides the point um, I have a, an account with Safari Books Online and I picked up this book here XNA 4.0 Game Development by Example by Kurt Jagers I believe his name is that I'm not sure how to pronounce that but uh, if you're looking for reading material to get started in XNA this is absolutely a, a, a brilliant work um, the, the guy explains everything, Kurt, Kurt explains everything real well, and I definitely recommend go ahead and, 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 and take a gander at this book if, you, if you're if you not um, all too familiar with C Sharp and, uh, and uh, XNA. This is a great, great place to start. Um, I'm not going to go into the details of this book because it could be copyright infringement, but I figured you wouldn't mind if I go ahead and, and promote his book for him and tell everybody what I thought about it. And I do believe this is, this is a really good place to start, especially if, if you've never uh, never worked with XNA before. Um, this table of contents, I'll just give you guys a brief overview. I'm hoping that you can see it because the resolution for my, uh, my uh, screen capture software isn't all that good. But as you can see, it's... Uh, 
it's pretty good he 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 all the code is in there you can copy and paste and it gives you a real good feel for working with uh microsoft visual studio in in, in general and uh that's uh that's where we're at right now um what i wanted to do is start kind of thinking about in this video we'll start thinking about how graphics kind of work especially with x and a because that's what we're going to be using but graphics in general um I figured we can do this kind of graphically here. Let's envision this this white part um, of of the image here of the image editing software. Let's view that as your monitor. And uh, basically, what happens uh, when your graphics card renders images to the screen, um, it, it uses a coordinate system. And and uh, uh, if you guys are familiar with this, just go ahead and feel free to skip over this. I just want to give a general introduction and kind of flesh out my own knowledge on 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 video diary so to speak and uh, give you guys an idea of where we're going but um, the origin if you've ever seen a coordinate system it's actually really um, literally we could actually show the grid and kind of kind of picture it this way uh, don't look at the tiles so much as, as pixels we'll, we'll get into that anyway um, th this would be coordinate position zero zero it's the Cartesian coordinate system if you guys aren't familiar the origin is always in the upper left hand corner of the screen um, uh, while well, at least dealing with X and A, and, and I believe most graphic cards are, are the same way. I'm not positive. Don't quote me on that. But at any rate, you you have um, um, a coordinate system, and basically what happens is your graphics card will will take information from an image or whatever should be displayed on your screen in general, and it will transform that into a coordinate system. And the coordinate system basically lights up pixels in different colors on your monitor, and uh, um, in actuality when we draw these tiles to the screen it's actually in screen coordinates as well and th those are represented in pixels so zero zero would be um, here let's just imagine that for a moment that this is one pixel so this would be pixel zero zero at the origin and then your X your positive X goes in this direction and um, your positive Y goes down and uh, that, that that should be uh, fairly familiar if you're thinking about a, a regular coordinate plane this would be um, just the, uh, the 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 lower right hand uh, quadrant would be down here and and, and uh, I believe that's quadrant four if I remember my uh, algebra correctly but um yeah so if you wanted to, to reference this pixel right here or let's just say this pixel right here it would be um, um, this is actually zero 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 one two and and then um, so that would be two for the x and then um, zero one for the y so it would be two one so this would be a coordinate position um, two one and that would represent this pixel right here and if we were drawing something to the screen if we wanted it to appear at this portion of the screen um, x and a references the upper left hand portion of an image so let's say this whole thing right here was an image that we wanted to draw to this portion of the screen we'd reference reference this pixel which would be zero zero on this image and we would put it in on the screen at um, I believe it was two two one zero yes two one and that would put this corner right here justly drawing the rest of the image over here like that and um, that's basically a little, little introduction to the graphics and the way they're uh, they're presented. I'm going to have a little bit more for you in the next tutorial. I just wanted to give you guys an idea of where we're at and where we're going. Uh, I believe I'm running out of time here, so let me go ahead and um, call it quits for this one, and we'll get into uh, some coding and some more graphics in the later tutorials. Thanks, guys.